Have you ever wanted to go back in time and retrieve a document that you might have, you know, re-edited or, you know, you deleted or whatever the case may be? Well, here is something I've done in Photoshop. However, you can do this within any program as long as you're storing your, um, your files that you, you know, create uh, within Dropbox with the cloud service. Now, right here is the Dropbox folder, and then when I come over here to just files, demo, right here is the um, document that I created, and I can see view previous versions right here. I can click that, I can view in Dropbox, and I can share the Dropbox link if I decide I want to as well. So, right over here, I've already got this um, Dropbox just files demos. Uh, folder open here and here you can see where the document lives if you right click right there on the icon what you can do is you can go to previous versions right there and you can see here that I have the current version version 2 and version 1 which is the oldest right here now what I'm gonna do here is I'm a little bit confused of which one is which sometimes so I'm gonna come over here to version 1 I'm gonna hit restore and what right here it says you know it's been restored um, to my computer. Now, being that I have this file open right here and it's set to 3 o'clock, I do believe this is the original here. So when I come back over here and I double click this right here, yes, we are dealing with the original which I had set for 3 o'clock. So what I want to do is I want to come back over here to this file again, go over here to previous versions, and I want to go over here to version 2 and see what that one's about. So I'm going to restore, and you see here I have it restored here and right here we have some syncing going on within Dropbox. I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy open. I can drop down the cogwheel and I can kind of see um, what is syncing, how much I've used. I can pause the syncing. I can go into my preferences from here, but you can see we have a syncing and we're actually going back in time here, um, even though it's kind of going forward there. So once that gets through syncing in full, I will be able to reopen the document. You can already see that the little icon right here has changed for the simple fact that it's gone over here to 9 o'clock versus um, 3 o'clock. So actually, let me go ahead and try to double click it and open it up. And right here, um, Photoshop recognizes the file and says, you know, the disk copy of time underscore, you know, 3 o'clock PSD was changed since you last opened it or saved it. Do you wish to upgrade it? And when I go ahead and hit upgrade, you can see that the clock right here changes. I actually, I went forward in time. I did a time warp versus going back in time there. But either way, you know, you kind of get it. You understand what's going on here. So there's been so many times that I've come over here to Dropbox. I've right clicked on a file and I said, um, you know, show me the previous versions. There's been times I've deleted things. So let me go over here and click right inside here, the demo. Actually, let me go over here and click inside this right here and say show deleted files when I click the Dropbox little icon there. And actually right over here, I was kind of doing a test to make sure I did this correctly. And you can see where I've actually deleted a few items right here as well. So, you know, Dropbox is an awesome, 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 um, way to you know refer back and go back you know in time and recover a document or you know um, you know go see a previous version of a document so go ahead and give it a try um, I will put a link below in reference to Dropbox and you can go ahead and get signed up for free they start you off with two gigs and the more you refer people the more gigs you get the more space you earn in reference to when people uh, sign up under your link so go ahead and give it a try let me know how it worked out and um, also you know leave a comment below or leave some type of comment let me know if you done anything in reference to the daylight savings times that just happened because you know daylight savings times just came around we used to have to go reset all our clocks but all the clocks that I own in reference to the car the phone you know uh, on my computer here you know where I mainly look at the time I did not have to change you know um, even if you're using like an Apple or Google watch or whatever a lot of times it'll change for you so let me know if you had to change any clocks alright I'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace out now